Praise the Lord. Welcome to Aim. Guys, it's a beautiful morning here. I got the water going in my garden. It's doing really well, guys. So the way I have the, the sprinklers positioned, you can see it's getting the whole garden. I don't think it's missing any place in the garden. Let's take a look. Oh, guys, they're advertising. If you hear that in the background, um, they have trash service that's coming around. We're in a new area, and we don't currently have trash service like in the U.S. where they come and pick up your trash. So this truck, we since we came together as a community and um, fixed the road out here then we started seeing those uh that person coming with his trash truck so you will pay and they will come and take your trash for you so that's a blessing that's a blessing because you know yeah maybe you can burn your paper towels or you know cardboard and things of that nature but if you really don't want to burn your plastic and the cans you know the cans aren't going to burn anyway so there are certain things that, you know, you do need to throw away. And that has had been a little issue here. But now that the trash truck's coming around, it's very helpful. So that's good. We thank God for that. We thank God there's some more grass over there, guys. That grass was hard to pull up because um, the ground was a little harder over there. And for me, if I'm pulling it, I like to pull it with roots and all. I'll show you what I did. I could have taken more of the dirt out of the roots, but, you know, I was doing it and just doing it very fast. So this is how it looked when I pulled it out. And we dumped three of, well, more full than that. We dumped three down here. And if I can show you guys, that's what's left. So you see how much they love it. They're up there in the ark now eating, except for a couple of them. Like to stay behind. So my husband's down there getting that ready. We're getting ready to go to the farm. So I just wanted to show you guys the watering system is doing great. If I showed you, I don't know if I showed you guys. We did get... Um, our box fixed so our our guy came and fixed the box for us it's a new type of box he put on there for us a digital kind of box so this is what it looks like we ended up having to get a new one of these uh, voltage regulators also so something happened and it messed up all the things we had here. So he has been diligent about coming and, you know, solving the problem. So here's what we have now. So we have the voltage regulator and we have the pump control box. So that's what that is. Plenty of water in the borehole, filling up the poly tank. So we're in business. Sometimes these things take a little bit of time to work them, you know, work itself out. But we thank God for what he has done. Um, he also said that he will go ahead and hook this one with a T-valve up so that in case, because anything can happen, in case something happens over here with the electricals or the pump or something like that, we will still be able to have a backup source, although there's not much water over here. A few gallons is better than none. So we'll have that one as a backup, um, and I believe it will help. It will be beneficial. So that's what's going on, guys. You saw down there, it looked very much, well, let me use proper English. It looked cleaner because the wood is gone. That's what that is. 
we still have um, this project to work on. So we're not there yet. Got that project to work on. And that's about it, guys. We got to get going. The kids are getting ready. We're all going to the farm today. We got to clean this pond out. So we'll work on that. Now that we had the water situated, we'll clean the pond out and get the geese fresh water in there. I did, um, I did see that this moringa here is starting to come back. So I'm thankful for that. We're going to keep letting it grow and see what it does. So I saw this new growth yesterday. And at first, something was chewing all of the leaves. So hopefully that thing is gone. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. I think the garden is watered sufficiently. Um, I like to normally water a little bit less, but water morning and evening. Since we didn't water it for a while, I left it on a little bit longer today. So it can soak in good. But everything is looking great. I do need to transplant. I want the ground to be good and soft when I'm doing that. So maybe, I don't know if the Lord will. And tomorrow maybe I can finish getting this grass out. And then begin transplanting another day. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Until next time, God bless you.